Yes, I like to watch Mau Mau Heroes of Pure Heart and Victor and Valentino, please. Ooh, excellent choices, kid. Great cartoons from Cartoon Network. We're going to look up in the database, and uh, here you go, and get ready to watch him, and they're gone. Ah, oh, what? E son, it's gone. What's all gone? Those two shows you asked for, they're gone. Okay, what about Infinity Train? That's gone too, poof. All right, you knucklehead. I'm trying to watch my favorite shows, and you keep canceling them. What's going on here? Ooh, I'm just a Warner Discovery merger out to make HBO Max and Warner Brothers feel better again. Next, please. Hey, what the? Ooh, I know what you want. Close enough. Okay, let me look it up for you so you can watch it, and it's gone. What? Pops. Okay, no more games. I want to watch Uncle Grandpa with my son, and later tonight, Final Space. What's going on here, Buster? Ooh, don't worry, I'm the Warner Discovery merger, here to substitute HBO Max. You see, Warner Brothers is in debt, so with the Warner Discovery merger, we'll help it get out of its debt. And what better way to do it than get rid of those popular cartoons? And if we get it out of debt, why, by 2023, we'll have a new streaming service. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Warner Discovery Brand Video, and here's your host, Matthew B. Lamont. You know, it has come to my attention that David Zaslov is behind the Warner Discovery merger. And what he's doing, as you all know, is that he's taking down a lot of shows off of HBO Max and replacing them with uh, Warner Discovery shows. Now, we all know that as of recent years, over the past decade, and this is just my guess, that Warner, that Discovery Channel has been airing nothing but uh, reality TV shows. Amongst one of them was uh, uh, Mountain Men, and uh, I think, and uh, Toddlers and Tiaras, those makeover shows. Uh, Toddlers and Tiaras is a total eyesore. That's my opinion. And this is just gone too far and I didn't think that Warner Discovery has like a knack for disliking animation. I guess they have something against animation. Even everybody in the animation community don't like this at all to begin with. Now, I'm just saying that uh, this is absolutely wrong and you've seen other videos. Now, I've watched two seasons of Close Enough and I'm in the anti-penultimate episode of Season 3. I got two episodes of Close Enough left, and let me tell you, it's a great show. I enjoyed it, but they took it off the air. And some friends of mine enjoy Close Enough, and you're tell- and this... is like t hooked off the air. And worst part is, you have to watch and pay for it via On Demand, and it costs a $2.99. I don't want to pay for it. I want to watch an episode for free. And you're telling me this is happening, and now, and now, what will the future hold? I mean, Dexter's Laboratory and Powerpuff Girls and other classic Hanna-Barbera stuff are now endangered, and all these other great movies I like. I haven't seen Joker. I haven't seen the Bob's Burgers movie. I refer to my trailer action video on that. I haven't seen any classic like uh, the original King Kong or Son of Kong or these interesting monster movies. I enjoy the monster movies, and now this is happening, but I did see Class Action Park. I did see a Street Gang, how we got to Sesame Street. And now I would call this chaos. I would call this wrong. I call this highly unacceptable. Hulu's doing fine. Netflix is doing fi fine. I hope so. But it's a mess, and by 2023, HBO Max will be no more. It's now just Warner Discovery, and I don't think I like this anymore at all. I mean, I just don't like changes. It's like, here's a question. Did the dinosaurs ask for an ice age or ask for a meteor shower, huh? Huh? Did the dinosaurs ask for that? No. Did the Roman Empire ask for a fall? No, they didn't. Did England ask for a bubonic plague? No. 
England did not ask for a bubonic plague, but it happened. Yes, it happened. Did London ask for a great fire in 1666? No, they didn't ask for a great fire, but it happened, all right. Did we ask for coronavirus or monkeypox? No, but did we ask for HBO Max? To be attacked by Warner Discovery Merger? No, we didn't, but it's happening all right. But why is this happening? Here's the answer, because HBO Max is in debt. Warner is in debt, and they need to do something to raise money about it. So they have to cut a lot of things, and uh, keep a lot of things, add some new things that nobody asked for, nobody wanted to begin with. I mean, why do we watch streaming services? Why do we want streaming services? Because we want to get away from the horror that is reality TV, which is taking too much time on our cable channels. I mean, some of the shows, cable channels are now the blank channel because it's blank being a show gets too much airtime on the channel. For instance, Nickelodeon is now the SpongeBob channel, and uh, Comedy Central is now the South Park channel. And you see what I'm pointing out here? And MTV or Discovery Channel or VH1, they are becoming the reality TV channels and TLC is becoming the reality TV channel. Nobody asked for it, but we're evading for it. Don't you remember back in the 90s where the Discovery Channel and the Learning Channel used to be educational, huh? You get to learn a lot from it. Remember the slogan from back in the day, explore your world? And now look has gone down to, it's gone down to dumps. At least they have like the cooking channel on HGTV, huh? But no. A&E used to be educational. A&E stands for Arts and Entertainment. Performing Arts, and now, boom, it's gone to reality TV trash. Bravo! Performing Arts, Opera, Ballet, Plays, Stage, and now reality TV trash. And I just can't take it anymore. I'm sick and tired of it. I bet you're sick and tired of it too, huh? With the reality TV being too dominant. And now, they're saying, hmm, let's put reality TV in a streaming service in case some people might like it. And if they don't like it, well, there's other shows they could pick. Yeah. A lot of people are giving up on their cable because of reality TV. And now, and other channels try to amp up their game by creating some creative, imaginative shows. Cartoon Network's Adventure Time, or Disney Channel's, or now Disney XD's, uh, Gravity Falls. They were such big hits back then, and they still are now. And I think, why should they need to amp up their game by making some more imaginative and more creative shows, especially in the field of animation? There you have it. Um, now, I hear that, uh... I have Roku now, recently, about a year ago, and I discovered that the original 1933 classic King Kong is now on Retro Reels, which is a streaming service. And I know why this is happening in fear of the Discovery uh, merger, Water Discovery merger. And before I go on to continue, let me just say that. Uh, my favorite shows on the Discovery Channel were Movie Magic and Paleo World because I love special effects and I love dinosaurs. I mean, going back now, a lot of classics are going to other channels or streaming services because now, oh my gosh, our channel is dying, our streaming service is dying. What are we going to do? Quick, go find other streaming services. Go find this streaming service. Go find the other streaming services quickly. We, we need money. And sure, I said, we're for Retro Reels. We, could, we, could we borrow the rights? Here, here. Uh, it'll cost you this one. Okay, here, we'll buy the rights and we can stream your movie in our servers. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's the way the situation is going right now. And now I'm thinking that, oh my gosh. Welcome to the world gone mad. I mean, even for animators, I'm not getting their decent pay. Someone pointed out that uh, 2022 is not a good year for animation. And who said that? Who said that? Now let's see, uh, this is going to take about a moment. Ben McDermott. Shout out goes to Ben McDermott. And uh, he said that 2022 is a bad year for animation because now we're in a rut. And this rut is a rather rotten rut, if you ask me. So now, God help us all. 
May 2023 to be a good year for animation. So, poor HBO Max. Well, if HBO Max dies out, I'll make a video in loving memory of it. We had good times together. Uh, HBO Max to me was like a girl who understands what you want. And you would hang out with her. And you have a good time with her. And I'll be seeing you another time, HBO Max. See you, Matthew! And uh, that's what HBO Max is like. What do you compare HBO Max to? Do you agree or disagree with this video? Don't forget to like and subscribe and to comment down below. This is Matthew Beelmont saying, have a nice day. May God help us all. And may God help HBO Max.